All right, guys, uh, we're back on the 4010 project and we're getting ready to install the rear main seal. Um, thought I probably should try to video this and forgot the GoPro, so we're gonna use the phone. Anyway, so far I've cleaned both these surfaces, obviously removed the old seal, pulled this cap off. And so now um, I put, I got a brand new John Deere gasket in here. And I've also put some um, aviation gasket glue uh, between. I don't want this rear main seal leaking at all. Um, so I put a little bit of that around the crankshaft as well to try to double seal that. And then I've lubed this a little bit. So we should push it together. Uh, we got the seal driver kit and it is on. So basically all you gotta do is Turn this bad guy, and it basically pushes that seal right in the housing and over the crank at the same time. Once it is where it needs to be, the tool will pretty much just stop. It'll seat itself right against the guide which is right here that's seated and then i'm going to take my ratchet and i'm just going to right now i'm just going to snug these up just so i can take that tool off and then it's probably ain't the right way to do it but I'm going to come back later after I go home and read the torque spec and pull these out one at a time. And I'm gonna blue Loctite them in because I don't want this coming loose. So I gotta get that, the torque spec and then I can blue Loctite them. Then I'll just pull them out one at a time and set them all in. But for right now, I'm just gonna get it snug and go from there so basically that way nothing moves and then i'm going to back this tool off just like that so we'll pull this nut off And we're almost there. Oop. And then this thing should come right out of here. I guess I'll have to pull that out and get back with you guys. Okay, we got the seal in. Um, we got this handy tool off. Uh, this is what it looks like from this side. Um, I picked that up, I believe, on a Facebook group. Somebody advertised it and that's what it looks like so um the only other thing that i've got to do yet this flywheel has four bolts um right now i'm trying to decide whether to put six bolts in it or not because the flywheel is tapped for six um i went out and i bought set screws to plug these two holes and i was going to lock tight them in just in case i'm i guess i'm still trying to make that up and then i've got to trim this gasket for when I put my oil pan on. So I guess that's it for this clip. And uh, I guess uh, if we get a little further, I'll try to get some more footage.
All right, guys, here we are back at the 4010. Um, we've got a long way since I've last videoed. I've tried to put some together, but Dad's been working on it on and off, so I haven't had a full chance to do it all in detail. And when we had put it together when I'm around, uh, it's just kind of go, 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 and I haven't had my camera with me, and he wants to work on it, so we just put it together. But anyway, things that I've done... Um, I've got pictures and stuff of this, but I didn't have my camera. Um, I hand worked all this out. This originally was a, a solid cast piece for the hydraulic line. Um, it's all good, so it doesn't rub anywhere. Um, the other thing we did, we put the clutch, the flywheel, all that good stuff all together. Um, we still got the turbo to do. I got an adapter to make here. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to be ready for the tractor pull. Um, we're messing with transmission uh, shifter, and Dad was playing with it, and he couldn't get it to go past reverse. And then all of a sudden, it went, and we can't get it back out. So we pulled the top cover off and suspected that the synchronizers i'm gonna show you here in a minute well, i guess we might as well do it right now the synchronizers are basically shot like it's coming apart and things are kind of jiggly so 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 i've got i'm just going to rebuild the top shaft so we're going to have to split it again back here it's already been split once um, I thought I had it shifting when we first got it, but we never ran it because the engine was stuck. But I thought I had it going, but whatever. So anyway, so we've got it pretty much, it's rolling. Um, some other things that we got to do, um, finish hooking the fuel line up. We made a line that goes up through here, and then obviously the tank sets down on. Um, we're working on finding a fan for this thing. Um, we got the hydraulics all hooked up. And I'm working on the throttle linkage. I'm going to use this jack shaft and make it because it has to change directions. So, working on that as well. Um, got the seal drain kit in. Um, so, that's all done. Just basic little things. Um, I'm going to have to make a tool to put the um, dipstick in. And I'm going to have to change this water manifold out. And since we're going to pause for a minute and slow down on it, I'm going to probably do a little bit of machining on one of the manifolds we got laying around. And we're going to make it so you can't tell there's a turbo under the hood. I guess you got the brake valve on. This is off my 3020 that I've got um, that we've already uh, kind of stole some parts off of. But um, these are stuck, and I've been spraying this seafoam deep creep on them. I don't know if any of you are a fan of it, but we are. It has got things really freed up. This was stuck. Dad got it freed up. But anyway, so here's down in there. Like I said, it's in reverse right now, and I just, we cannot get it to come up out of reverse. So, so I guess that's the next thing. But whatever. Um, I guess Dad's gonna go ahead and pull my 4010, and I think I'm gonna pull the 70 diesel. I'm not going to do any good because we're going to be in the same class, but it is what it is. This tractor here is the 3020 diesel power shift. Um, the oil cooler on it is pretty well, um, it's got a hole in it. He's getting that patched up, and while he's doing that, I bought this relay, or not relay, circuit breaker and starter. Uh, starter relay, starter solenoid kit for it. Um, that way it takes a lot of the load off the key switch and such so um, All that stuff's going to be mounted up here. I'm going to finish the wiring all out nice and neat So working on that and still got a mess here. I got to 
put some wires together here and all that but so that's that that's 3020 diesel power shift so, so that's basically what we got going on um hopefully this week the baler gets put away combine it's going to get dug out i still have to put rasp bars in it um so hopefully we're going to trade this 4010 over for over there so i can pull the combine straight in and out of here so i can work on it because it is buried right at the moment and then there's 4040 i'd like to get it cleaned up a little bit and eventually here i'm gonna put the duels back on it for uh so I can put some barley in the ground, but so yeah, so a lot of this stuff's just parts for the 4010 and such. But I'm gonna try to put the videos and pictures of what I've got so far along with this and post it and go from there. So there's always a wrench in the project, there's always something that slows us down, but we're gonna get there. But there's no use rushing it and hacking things up, we might as well. Uh, might as well just do it upright, so that's what we're going to do. So I guess, uh, I don't know where, if I'm going to start the video with this or what we're going to do, but that is uh, what we got. So I guess we'll uh, see y'all on the next one.